you know, there's some aspect of my college course that wants to make me do a happy dance right about now. I mean, today I've seen some tutors from my research and development module, and they told me that I might get a B in it. That's strange saying it's one of the most hated modules in my set, but... I, I hope they're right. I just, I just really hope that I managed to get through this already. Still, with concerns of that aside, this bright Tuesday afternoon will tell us that it's going to be time for Game 11 on Game Rental Theatre. And so, once again, the PS2 will be our focus for today. Let's just hope that things go down, alright? Okay, so what we're going to do now is to make our focus over onto the bed, and right there we should have another game in my possession. Okay. Let me reach out and get it for you! Alright! Okay! Today we're supposedly going down under. Um, no, it's not another Crash Bandicoot title, unfortunately. But we do have this. Let me, let me see if we can do it for the camera. Okay, there it is! Tiger the Tasmanian Tiger 2 Bush Rescue. Okay, um, sorry about the ugly, um, rental packaging. That's unfortunately obscured most of the disc itself. Oh well, you can't blame everything. Okay, so what can I honestly say about this? Let me put it down while I figure out a few things. Okay, well, I, I, did, I did mention that with Beautiful Joe, I was attracted to that series because of Clover Studios being responsible for Okami. And I'll say the same with Ty, because Chrome Studios, the development team for the series, ended up working on The Legend of Spyro, which I ended up appreciating. And now I want to be able to take a look into their back catalogue and see what I can, um, be, be able to get through with them. It's just that the original tie is taking a long time to get through, but I'll make do with the sequel for the time being. You know, I love a good platform challenge every now and again, so... Let's see how far I can go. Right, talking aside, might, might be brief, but I don't care. There's Bedmark 2! PS2 is on the ready! Monitor is on the ready as well! And I suppose it's time we might as well just get going. Okay, it's in this challenge that Ranger Ken wants me to go into these sewers and flesh out some crocodiles. Let's see what we can make of this one. Oh, there's one already. Seems to, she seems to adapt well to my boomerangs, that's for sure. You know, I really hope the map could have had some crocodiles actually marked on the screen. Oh, ouch! I didn't see that coming! Ah, I think we're getting the hang of this. Seems very up. Oh! You never can know what kind of creatures are lurking around the corner. Still, going around Bermagudji, is that how you pronounce it? Berm Bermagudji? Um, going around the main town area. This makes me think of a happier version of Jack 2 for some reason. Ha 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 ha! There's five! Can almost get a bit easy to get lost. Ah ha! There's the six! Just three hits of the boomerang and there we go. You know, you never know what kind of weird creatures look above the deep! Ah! Take that! And that! Awesome! I suppose the final one should be right up this pathway somewhere. Oh man, I'm sending more British as time goes on. Ouch! There's the final one. Okay. Ranger Ken will be pleased. Y you know, I really dig how they did the um, acoustic guitar work in this. Make makes it feel more folky, if you know it that way. to do. Seems like I'm gonna be facing some kind of topsy turvy route, that's for sure. Okay, so in this one that we're expecting narration to be done a little bit differently. I mean, Windows Movie Maker recorded my video but completely omitted the sound. 
And once the game was saved, there was no going back. So yes, here we are. It's, okay, it, it's, it's in this fight that I have to fight against... What was the name? Patchy. It, this giant stegosaurus pain. First he has to go around charging around at me. And once he stops, I had to hit him upside the head just to knock some sense into him. Sounds pretty straightforward, doesn't it? I suppose that's what we get when we're facing the first boss. Oh, God, there he goes. Well, does he look like a dinosaur? I mean, I can't figure that out. And it's not a postcard. Hey, no fair! Tired to call out with disarray. As the head gets protected like that. And now his tail has turned into a spiked tail. Some, some kind of ball and chain mechanism. Looks as if I may need to face the shockwaves as well as the charges. Tricky combination, I think, but I think we could get through it. Still, there's something about this type of boss fight that makes me think of Spiral or Hero's Tale for some reason. Let's face it, three different phases and three different challenging forms all, all the while. I guess this is why um, Sierra ended up finding Chrome to work on Spyro a new beginning. At least that's what I would assume. And I can even sense similarities between the two in terms of graphics and even the interface. They even have the same save icons for crying out loud. I'm, I'm thinking, I think by, about, that by this point we're one hit away from making our way to the next phase. All the shot waves and down we go. Patchy, don't let that little orange rat get you down! Oh god. That's the last time I'm doing an Americanized accent on an Australian-based video game. Oh my god. Okay, I've shown we're facing cannons on top of him. That makes his head and tail vulnerable now. Still, that can be easily remedied. Jump up and throw a boomerang. I've got an infrarang equipped right now, so that makes things all the more easier. It shouldn't be too long until he gets down for the count. There good. There goes the fuds again. And he's down! And these are all... Oh yes! Ty wins the battle, I would assume. Look out! He's there, folks. Otherwise, he won't be around for the next game. Well, I certainly didn't expect that to happen. Well played, that. You won this one, but next time you won't be so lucky. Okay. I need to improve my acting a bit more. I even noticed some things that end up being in common with The Legend of Spyro as well, like their save system and maybe stuff like the, gra the, the graphical power behind it. But still, when it when it when it comes to the actual game, though, the the missions themselves seem, seem pretty challenging, even even for me, mainly some of the combat ones. But I, but but I think I'll be easily be able to get through this in a ma in, in a matter of a few days, just like I usually do with these kind of titles. <laughs> oh god, I'm just a platform veteran, if you know what I mean. Okay. Aye, right, thank you, Com Studios. Oh, right. Okay, this is Rexy signing out. Episode 11 of Game Rental Theatre has featured Ty the Tasmanian 2 Bush Rescue. <sighs> wow, that was a lot to take in. <laughs> okay, I should be able to see you in a couple of days' time with another game to show you down your road. Right. Okay, see you later.